Welcome to the Bold Talk by Joe podcast, coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. Standing at five foot seven, weighing in at 145 pounds from New York, Mark. I'm gonna steal your privacy, Zuckerberg. In the blue corner, standing at six foot two, weighing in at a 230 pounds from South Africa, Elon. I'm gonna limit your tweets you can read, Musk. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. I am going to be your fight analyst for the Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg fight. So apparently this fight is happening, maybe, hopefully, but it's going to be great. And uh, I think it's silly. I think it's silly that two billionaires are going to go at it, but it's hilarious because this is going to be for bragging rights, especially after the stunt that Mark Zuckerberg pulled by creating that replica Twitter. And uh, it's just going to be great. But, uh, you know... I'm going to give you my, uh, I'm going to break it down for you on why I think the fight's going to go this way. So, I am going to tell you right now that, wait a minute, I just sounded like the lady from the airplane. I'm telling you right now, that motherfucker is not real. I'm going to... I'm going to find the clip and add it to the show later. I really cannot believe it. I don't give two f***s, but I am telling you right now, that that back there is not real. But I am telling you right now, Elon is not going to win. I am team Elon. I don't like Mark Zuckerberg, um, but I don't think that Elon Musk is going to win this fight. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. So Elon Musk called out Zuckerberg for a cage fight. And Zuckerberg said, okay. Elon also said they should measure each other's things. And that was really weird. But let's stick to the fight. So Zuckerberg has been training jiu-jitsu. He's already won two tournaments, gold for a nogi. So... That's just how I said it. No gi, right? No gi means that they weren't wearing the the gi, right? The what you would call it. Maybe some people call it kimono, right? So there, he, there was a no gi, and he won gold, and then he went and I believe he got a silver on another competition. That is, that is pretty amazing. Okay, so he obviously uh, is training really hard to get there. You just can't just jump in. If he just started jiu-jitsu two weeks ago and win competitions, it doesn't work that way. When I was a small kid, I was maybe 12, 13. Uh, yeah, about 13 years old. I was a younger dude. In the neighborhood we lived in Texas, there used to be this uh, this older gentleman. Uh, he was a little bit older than us, about 10 years. And this guy used to box. He was a Golden Glove winner or something in this for the state of Texas at the time. And he ended up getting into a little bit of trouble and uh, his career was over. So he lived in that neighborhood and he used to grab us as kids and like take us into the garage and teach us how to fight. So this thing became this whole huge deal. That didn't sound good, right? The way I was saying it, that, that was that sounded really creepy. But he used to, you know, train us in his garage because he had a full garage, a full training. Uh, he had everything on there, bags and speed bags and all kinds of stuff, right? He had a full gym in there. And uh, 
So we used to fight the kids from the neighborhood, the kids uh, from different blocks, and the parents used to sit outside their homes drinking beer and chilling out there and watch their kids fight. This was a, a, a different time, not too long ago, but it feels like it's been a long, long time. This was in the 90s. And uh, yeah, it was like late 90s, I believe. I can't remember exactly, but my parents used to sit outside and cheer for me as I tried to beat the shit out of some other kids. Obviously, we were using boxing gloves and they used to be, you know, they, he, had, he had a bell and all kinds of stuff, right? It was like a little boxing match. So I really enjoyed fighting. I enjoyed the art of fighting. I have always have. Uh, boxing uh, from the beginnings of the UFC, all that stuff. I've always enjoyed watching it, right? There's something about just being a male, I believe, that you just, you're, you're a savage sometimes and, and you you gravitate to that style of fights. And uh, later on the years, uh, 2017, I decided, and I told this story before, I was driving by, driving to work, I was bored, I was early, and I stopped by this place that said Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So I stopped by to watch it. And that was basically, uh, that was the beginning. I started training in 2017. And I realized that something that I always realized is that I will always, that I had an athletic gift, right? I'm, I am athletically gifted. Thanks to my father, both of my grandparents, all my uncles, my sisters, everybody. We all play sports. My father uh, played baseball. And uh, he was a, uh, a baseball star. Um, my uncles weren't baseball stars like my father, but they're all were gifted athletically. My sisters, everybody. So we're a big baseball family, which was weird because I played basketball. And uh, there was always an issue. My dad wanted me to play baseball, but my love was for basketball. So, but I could play any sport. I could play baseball. I could play soccer. I could play anything. I was just... Uh, you know, I had a gift and it was, uh, it's, I don't know if it's in the genes, it's in, it's in, you know, it's in the blood, but uh, we are a very athletic family. All of us are. And I figured out that because I was gifted that I could, uh, I could learn the art and I could be just a little bit better if I just trained a little bit harder. And it was easier for me to, to uh, submit, you would say submit or beat, right? Whatever you want to say. Other people that had a little bit more ex that were doing it longer, but they weren't as athletic as I was. So I would take advantage. Obviously, there's different things, right? If you don't necessarily have to be super athletic um, to to do jujitsu, right? Jujitsu is an art. It's a martial art that you tur that you that you train for years and years and years to good to get good at. But sometimes when you're like I've been saying, athletically gifted, or you're just naturally strong or you're just really strong because you work out a lot then you always have an upper hand right so it takes that other person all skill it takes it you have they have to beat you all on skill and um and being able to to put you in situations where they can take advantage and beat you right it takes a lot of discipline uh, especially if you're not like some people that are just stronger than you, right? So you have to use your head, right? It's jujitsu is like a chess match. So Elon, I I mean, just by looking at him, I don't even see how he is athletic in any way. Um, I don't even know if he the guy does any kind of exercise or anything like that. But Zuckerberg surfs, he does jujitsu, he's obviously uh, athletic looking, he probably eats healthy, um, and Elon doesn't, right? You can just tell with the body style that, you know, Elon is, is, is different. So it's going to take a lot for Elon Musk, right, to beat Zuckerberg because Elon Musk is not as athletic. Maybe all of a sudden he is, right, but he's not as athletic as Zuckerberg. So you can, you can tell. You can just tell by... Um, the type of person or the way they move that you're like, these, these guys are very athletic. So Elon's going to have to depend on learning and nothing but skill and uh, learning the skill, sharpening his skills and uh, being able to, being able to be uh, very dedicated to, to learn striking, to learn the ground game and to build endurance, right? Because without any endurance, I mean, Elon is heavy and he has a little bit of a gut, and if you really think that you're going to step into an octagon and fight some dude that's in shape, 
that does jujitsu already, he's way, way in front of you when it comes to the skills. It doesn't matter if you have George St. Pierre or somebody else in your corner teaching you about stuff. When you step into the octagon, if you have zero endurance, you have zero knowledge, and you think you're just going to go well, throw some Hail Marys at some dude that is actually training jujitsu, you're out of your mind. Even though, even though, if he has trainers and he, he trains, it's going to be really, really, really hard because Zuckerberg is, like I said, one step ahead of him, maybe, maybe five, six steps ahead of him. So all it's going to take is a match to start. And the best, the best that the best thing that Elon could do is stand on his feet and strike, right? Because he's a lot bigger. He's a lot taller. He's got a longer reach and try to land a few on Zuckerberg's face and put him to sleep. And win the fight, right? But if that fight goes to the ground, I don't think that Elon is going to get out of it. I think that he's going to be choked out in a matter of seconds and the fight's going to be over. That's just the way it is. When you're a white belt, because Zuckerberg's a white belt, when you are a white belt uh, and you've been doing it for a while, it doesn't matter. For instance, before I even get to that, for instance, myself, I don't really care about the color of the belt. I don't give a shit about the stature of any color or any of that. I go and do jujitsu because I like to do it because I enjoy doing it. Right. If I was going to compete in a tournament, it would be a whole different story. I would be going there every day, working out, doing everything that I can right to win the tournament. But I do it because I like doing it. I don't feel like I want to. I don't feel like I want to join a competition right now. So I really don't care about the other stuff. I just do it for fun. I do it because I enjoy being there. I enjoy learning new stuff. And it's it's a skill. It's something you have to get good at every day, right? You have to you have to keep learning and and you have to keep practicing, right? And um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I, I haven't been able to do it since I've been in, I was injured, and I've been resting and trying not to do trying not to get any surgeries on my elbows. So. I've been resting it out, and as soon as I start getting better, I'm going to go back to the mats, start working out again, but it's taken me a long time since I was injured from the type of work that I used to do, and then I would do jujitsu. That wasn't a good combination, so I ended up uh, getting really injured, my elbows, but it's okay, right? As soon as I get better, I'll get back at it, and uh, you know, one thing that, that uh, Elon has to understand is that a white belt that's been training for a long time, not necessarily if, he, you know, some people don't want, don't like to get promoted. Like, I don't, I don't care about promotions, you know, but somebody that's been training for a long time, even though they're a white belt, you know, they're going to choke you out really fast, really, really fast. So he has to be able to train really, really hard, harder than Zuckerberg in order for him to beat him. Like I said, he can land, he could get lucky and land a couple of punches in his face and put him to sleep, and that's the end. But Zuckerberg is not going to stand because, first of all, he is, Elon is a lot taller. He has a longer reach, right? He is not going to sit and he's not going to stand there and, and box him. Zuckerberg is going to use what he's been training, which is jujitsu, and he's going to put him on the ground, maybe strike him a few times so he can, so he can have a few openings to grab him and choke him out. So, Elon's going to have to develop a lot of endurance. He's going to have to get on an air bike and go run, go swim, go do something, man. But you need to lose some weight and you need to build endurance. You need to learn how to strike. You need to learn how to do jujitsu, all those things, right? So so Elon is 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 uh, stepping into something that I don't know that if I don't know if he thought it was being funny. And then this whole thing is going to turn to be pretty bad, right? And uh, I'm team Elon. Like I said, I, I wish that. You know, that he would be a badass and just hit him a few times and put him to sleep and win. But it doesn't work that way. You know, I know it doesn't work that way because I've because I've been training and I, I've been fighting since I was a little kid. So I understand that it's, it doesn't work like that. Right. So you're going to step into an, an octagon with a bunch of people. You're going to have you're going to be nervous and you're going to have a dude that's been training longer than you. That is uh, that he didn't take much to get in shape because he was already in shape. And now you're in trouble. Because, you know, for somebody, for somebody that is not in shape, for somebody that uh, is learning something new, especially like jujitsu and art like that, it's good. It takes you a very, very long time. And if this dude thinks that he's going to learn jujitsu and become badass at it in a very short amount of time, 
he is absolutely wrong. He is going to get mauled by this dude and he's going to choke his ass out and put him to sleep. And like I said, this is for bragging rights. This is for bragging rights. And uh, if if I was Elon and I was like, you know what? Screw that. I, I need to work out. Screw Twitter. I need to stop tweeting. I need to focus on training because this dude is going to beat the crap, crap out of me on live TV. And I bet you anything that this fight is probably going to be the most watched fight in the century. Elon Musk against Mark Zuckerberg. That is going to be the pay-per-views are going to go through the roof. It's going to be wild. I think the whole world is going to stop for this fight. I am telling you, it's going to stop for this fight. It's a big deal, right? Bragging rights, social media. It's a huge deal. Two billionaires going at it. The big deal. Supposedly, Elon has fought people in South Africa when he was a kid or something, maybe defending himself, maybe at a bar fight. Supposedly, you know, you guys don't know, but blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude. You're not Kimbo Slice, bro. You're not going to just jump in and, you know, you obviously are not a fighter. You're a businessman. But this other dude is a fighter. This other dude is in, you know, doing all kinds of shit. Staying busy, staying active, right? Learning new shit. Learning how to fight. So it's like you are, you are, you need to start, you need to start going. You need to start going, start losing weight, gain that endurance because you can learn how to fight. Right, you can you can learn a few things. You can learn how to strike. They can teach you some things for the fight. But if you gas out in the first round, in the first five minutes, or in the first minute, right, in the first thirty seconds, right, it's over for you. You're gonna be gassed out, and this dude is just gonna choke you out till you pass out. That is basically what's gonna happen to Elon. So, like I said, even though I would want him to win, I don't think that it's gonna be possible. He would have to train for at least a year. And be committed to train for a full year and learn to learn how to strike, learn everything in order for him to win. I mean, I would do that if I was serious about fighting some dude in the octagon. I am not just going to get up there with, oh, I, I used to train and I still train once in a while, but I got injured, so I'm going to just fight him. No, I would be like, hey, I would need at least a year so I can train, put my head in the game, train, train hardcore every day. Train, 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 look at videos, train, study video, train again, do some weights, you know, do some endurance, get on the air bike, go swimming, go running. I would have to train, right? Because I don't want to look like a fool and follow millions of people. So I feel like Elon is going to maybe look like a fool if he doesn't actually be serious about this and this fight actually happens. I heard rumors that it's gonna, he wants to do it at the Coliseum. I mean, he wants to make a big show, right? I mean, these guys are going to make a lot of money off of this also because I'm sure they're going to stream it live on Twitter. It's going to be streamed on Instagram. I mean, this is... This is a lot more than just bragging rights. It's money, right? There's money involved in this. And uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of people that whoever wins, like, screw you, I'm going with the winner, you know? So there's a lot of that that's going to happen. And the whole world is going to watch this. And there's a lot of people that dislike Elon, right? There's a lot of people that dislike Mark Zuckerberg. So it's going to be the battle of the social media. But when it comes to the fight, I mean, they, he needs to train. He really needs to train really hard in order to beat Zuckerberg. And... Uh, Zuckerberg, I'm sure, is training a lot harder now. I mean, he's training with Israel Adesanya. He's training with a bunch of professional UFC champions, right? So he already knows. He's already won competitions. He's learning the art. Not only that, now he's getting trained by professional UFC champions. Yes, Elon is training, getting trained by George St. Pierre, UFC Hall of Famer, this and that. But Elon is not a fighter. Elon doesn't look like he's been physically active in the last... 20 years. I mean, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, he needs to get his shit together because, you know, I want Team Elon to win. But, uh, and looking at this as in, in, in the fighters, you know, looking at it as, as me going in there to fight and looking at both of these guys, it's like there's no freaking way that Elon's going to win that's going to beat Zuckerberg. Like, there's no freaking way. This dude is going to have to magically pull something out of his ass so to beat, to beat Mark, right? So, you know, and that's just me being realistic. Even though I want him to win, I'm just being realistic. This guy is is a lot more skilled and he is athletically gifted. I've seen his videos. I've seen his matches. I've seen his stuff that he does. He is athletically gifted. I've never seen Elon Musk jump on top of a surfboard. I've never seen Elon Musk, you know, do anything but be at work. That's it. Just at work. Or at some crazy events. That's it. So... In order to beat the, li the lizard boy, 
That's what they call. That's what everybody calls Mark, the lizard boy. Um, you're going to have to really, really stop tweeting and, and appoint people to do your job. And, hey, you take care of this. I need to beat the shit out of this other dude. That's the only way that Elon's going to have to, that's going to have a chance, right? And if he's still tweeting and still sleeping at work and he's not taking this serious, you're just going to get up there and get mauled by this guy. And, you know, that's that's not right. No matter what, if you're stepping into some kind of fight, you should be able to to take it serious, right? Because you're just gonna look you're gonna look stupid in front of millions and millions of people, and uh, you don't you don't want that, right? I mean, who wants that? You want it to be at least a good fight where both of these guys go at it, and you know they're they're bloody everywhere. There there's blood all over, and these guys are fighting back and forth, and there's a good match, and you earned its respect for both of them. But when somebody steps into the match, into the octagon, and the other guy just right away knocks you to the ground and chokes your ass out that's you know people are not going to be like well that was you know you guys are warriors you know they're going to clown on you they're going to be like what the fuck what were you thinking why would you step into the octagon knowing that you're not ready for the fight so you know he has to be ready to roll he has to be ready to roll and like i said endurance plays a part on this right he has to have a lot of endurance because mark zuckerberg looks like he's he's in shape man he's in shape so you know, Elon's got a long way to go. Uh, the fight still hasn't, there's rumors of it, you know, with different places and times and this and that. And I don't know exactly what's real or what's not. But I am really hoping that this does really happen because it's going to be interesting, right? It's going to be interesting. And there's going to be in full display in front of millions of people. And um, it's going to be, it's going to be the most watched fight ever, I think, ever. Um, I could tell you that just by the way threats reacted when threats w- went online and like 5 million people in like a few days or whatever. I mean, it's, it's insane. So think about it. Just imagine these two guys fighting. The pay-per-view is going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. And, and I'm excited. I'm excited because I love fighting. Um, I'm excited for, uh, I'm excited for Elon actually, because I feel like maybe this is a wake up to getting in shape. Right to to get in shape and and not take work so seriously to get in shape, work uh work on on his health uh and and be more active. Right, this is this is good. Maybe this is good for him for him to snap out of it. You know what? I'm gonna be more active. This makes me feel really good. I feel better. I'm eating better. I'm gonna live longer. Right. We need people like that to live longer. Those people are the ones that shape the world. Right. With their ideas and their and their products. So it's like we don't want this guy to just go away. I mean, he has really good ideas. He says a lot of stupid shit too sometimes, but. He has a lot of good ideas, so you want him to be, you want him to be healthy, right? You want these guys to be healthy uh, because it's some somehow or another they do provide good stuff, right? So maybe this is the wake up call for Elon, and I hope it is, right? I hope it is that he that he maybe can uh, can be physically fit. I mean, look at uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Man, this dude is running for president, and he's jacked. He's jacked. This dude is like on roids or something. I don't know what the hell he's on, but I saw a video of him working out, lifting weights, and I was like, holy shit, that dude's running for president? That dude is ripped. That dude is ripped. That is the way that Elon should be. A CEO, billionaire, buff, ripped. You know what I mean? That kind of guy. You know You know what? I, I would like to see Mark. I would like to see Zuckerberg fight Bezos. Yes, because Bezos is in shape. And I bet you if I bet you that would be a hell of a fight right there. Jeff Bezos against Mark Zuckerberg. I am calling it right now. I am calling it. That was my idea. Make that fight happen. Yes. Yes. Well, right after the Elon fight, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's exciting. This is it's it's exciting. There's some fights that I don't like, like, you know, Mayweathers and you know, with uh What's his name? That UFC fighter guy, the um, Conor McGregor. And I mean, that's stupid. You know what I mean? But these, these are crazy because these are two dudes, two billionaire dudes that are just going to go try to beat each other up because they don't like each other and for bragging rights. And of course, a shit ton of money. But, you know, whoever wins probably gets more, gets more people on their platforms, right? So... I mean, there's a lot at stake. It's not just for fun. There is a lot at stake. So that's why I'm I'm telling Elon. If Elon is probably never gonna listen to my show, but if you're ever if you listen to, you're listening to this, Elon, you need to stop tweeting and get to the gym. Get to the gym. And one other thing before I leave, before I before I call it quits today. 
you there's a lot of injuries okay there is a lot of injuries so and he's older you know i know that it's taking me a long time for my elbows to to get back right i'm 40 years old so i am not as uh, not as strong and i don't heal as fast as when i was in my 20s so injuries are going to play a big part He's he's a lot heavier. He has to lose weight. He has to train, and he's gonna be injured. He's gonna be in pain. He's gonna be sore. So all that stuff, right? He's gonna have to take ice bath and saunas and this and that, and I mean supplements. So there's a lot to this. There's not just dudes fighting up there. There's a lot more to this, and injuries are gonna play a big part because if he goes out there with any kind of injury, he's gonna get mauled, and Zuckerberg's gonna defeat him. So he has to make sure that he stays in shape. That he you know that he treats his injuries. Uh, because it's tough, right? A small injury, like, like I said earlier, like my elbows, you know, were really badly hurt that if I would have kept going to jujitsu, I would have had to have surgery. And they just told me, just take some time, let them heal and then start lifting weights again. And yeah, I lost a bunch of muscle weight. You know, I was 210 pounds. I was a little bit yoked and now I'm 195 pounds and I lost muscle and strength because I'm not working out. I'm basically... Uh, just trying to not have surgeries and I'm feeling a lot better. My elbows are almost 100%. I got to go back to the doctor. Once that happens, they let me work out again and I'll go back to the mats, like I said. But, you know, injuries play a big, big part on recovery. If you get hurt, it takes a long time to recover. That's lost time. That is lost time, but, you know, that you're losing, that you can't train. You can just watch tape, watch video, watch stuff, but you can't do nothing else, right? Maybe ride a bike. It depends where, where you're hurt, where you got injured. So there's 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 a lot of stuff involved in fighting, right? And I'm sure a lot of people, uh, a lot of people that have fought or know about fighting or follow fighting, understand that there's a lot more to it than just learning how to strike. So hopefully this this fight happens, and if it does happen, I already have it to where I'm going to stream live and just do a commentary on the fight. I don't think that I can obviously watch the fight and do commentary because I will get sued, but I'm going to be watching the fight and I'll have my buddy Mo for or something and we'll go live and we'll do some commentary on the fight, right? Do a podcast slash commentary of the fight and we'll just talk some shit, have some beers and I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be cool. I think, you know, I think it's going to be awesome. So, uh, and it's, it's great for entertainment. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully it happens. Uh, hopefully you love this episode. You can reach me on Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube at Bold Talk by Joe. Also, if you want to email me, it's Bold Talk by Joe at gmail.com. You can always ask me a question there. If you don't have a Twitter or whatever, you can. Uh, I, I love feedback, whatever you want to say. If you want me to talk about something different, you have any ideas, let me know. I'm available. Until next time. Uh, peace. <laughs>